Hi, my name is Mike Inglis, number 42 from California. This is a 1927 Harley Davidson JD. 1927. Now, you had a little problems with this back at the beach? Yeah, it was running great. I didn't get a lot of time on testing the motor. It took 14 months to restore this bike. So I only had about 40 miles on it before we got here and I kick-started it in the parking lot and this top valve assembly went through the gas tank and I had one hour to repair the tank and repair the valve, get on the beach and get a photo taken before, <laughs> before it started. These old bikes can be a little cantankerous, huh? So I had to push it down to the beach, get my picture taken, push it back to the parking lot. We soldered this, dropped in a new valve, and away I went. So and did you complete the first day? I did, I have, I've completed every day. Every day, even with shooting a valve out of the motor through your gas tank, you still fixed it and made it that day. Well, I have to give the credit to the guy that built this, Dave Captain. He's actually, I'm riding with my mechanic, or I wouldn't even have done this or even have thought about it because this is so mechanically intense riding a restored motorcycle 4,000 miles. I said, I ain't going unless you're going. So I'm riding with my mechanic. I'm just a rider. Luckily, I get a mechanic to go with me. Otherwise... So this is your mechanic's bike, riding with you. Here comes the mechanic. All right. He's actually completed the cannonball twice. How about starting it for us? We'll see how that valve's working now that you fixed it. every time. I like it. Beautiful bike. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good morning. Yeah, Ron Roberts here riding number uh, 16, 1936 Indian Chief. Um, Third, this is our third day, fourth, fourth day ride. <laughs> How, yeah. How's it been running? The bike's running great, really good. I've had no issues with the bike. Uh, I built it myself. You built this all? Yeah. My son and I are uh, partners in, uh, loose, loosely partners in my sickness. So, <laughs> so he, you, you're he, he hand painted this on the tank for us. Well, very nice. Yeah. Uh, any special things with the motorcycle that you've done? Everything special. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 36 Indian Chief. We found it in Philadelphia about four years ago in a basement. It had been dismantled in 1979, the year my son was born. He found it, actually. It took us like six months to make the deal to buy the bike, and then we put it together after that. I did rebuild it this winter for the Cannonball. You know, Have I, you rode it any long distances yet, or this I'm, is I'm it? I'm a builder, not a rider. All right. I'm a, I'm a novice rider, to tell you the truth. I rode more miles this summer than I have on my whole 63 years of living. Man, oh man. Well, you got what you cut out. Now, so far, you've done complete days, correct? Yep. yep. You finished I've had, every day? I've, uh, I've been lucky, yeah. Every day's been good, you know? That's good to I'm, know. I'm feeling good. The bike's running good. You know, that's all you can ask for at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, but you can't, you can't count on anything. As you know, you've been around this. Right. Enough, you know? Any any given day, you can end up on the trail, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. right. Oh, that doesn't happen. You want to start it for us? I will. And it starts first kick. Well, it looks like you and your son done one great job. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you very much. Good luck.